Hello, today I propose to model a parametric spring. I will not declare user parameters. Instead, I will use and name on the fly the local parameters that Fusion 360 creates implicitly. Forget the provided coil feature. The spring will have nice endings, like this, where the pitch will be gradually reduced to its minimum. So, let's start the modeling. First, I create a component. It's a good practice. Components are meant to organize parts and to assemble those parts. Creating a sketch on the top view plane. Creating a centered circle. I name its diameter on the fly. DC, 60 mm. This value is the diameter of the spring. Creating a small circle, name DP, value 6 mm. I will not use this circle as is for modeling, but the value will be the diameter of the wire of the spring. Creating a sketch on the front view plane. Now I am drawing the path for the wire. Well, half of it. There will be three sections. This is the first one. This vertical dimension is the pitch of the spring. I named the parameter pitch and I set the value as an expression. Remember, dp is the diameter of the wire. The coefficient in front should be more than 1. This parameter that I am naming length pitch is the perimeter of the cylinder that encloses the spring. Thus, this wire portion corresponds to one winding of the spring. Dimensioning with a parameter called NS pitch. The coefficient in front of the expression should be chosen by Halvis. It determines the windings count. This is another section of the wire. It corresponds to the spring end winding. The minimum pitch is DP. That is the wire diameter. Mechanically, the pitch cannot be less than that. Note the 1.2 coefficient. This is the length of this section winding. Note again the 1.2 coefficient. It should be paired with the previous one. The last wire section it will allow a smooth transition between the main pitch and the ending pitch. After setting the dimensions, I will join the lines with a spline. Note the point A coefficients. Aligning the path wire ends with the origin. Here is the spline. Adding tangency constraints to the spline. The wire path is done but I need a profile for a later use in a feature, the embus feature. I offset the path and close both ends with a line. Profile closed. Fully constrained sketch done. Extruding the cylinder that encloses the spring, more exactly half of it. 
The dimension expression is the sum of all pitches declared in the previous sketch. Now I emboss the path profile around the cylinder. Extruding the Y with the pipe fetcher. Remember, TP is the diameter of the wire. Half spring done. To obtain the other half, I will use the circular pattern fetcher. I need an axis for it creating a sketch on the right view plane, projecting the rightmost point of the path of the previous sketch. The axis will pass through this point. Its length can be any value. I choose the value from DC parameter for a good visibility. Sketch done. the second half of the spring using the circular pattern feature. One final step, combining the two halves using the combined feature. And here we are. This is a spring with nice endings. Let's take a look now at the parameters. It looks like Fusion 360 decided to push as favorite all name and parameters on the fly. I don't need this, so I remove them from there. Local parameters implicitly created by Fusion 360 in sketches and features are located below the user parameter list. Here are the names I declared previously on the fly. I am adding some comments. So, all parameters are here under this screen dialog. A moment ago, I was talking about the 1.2 and 0.8 coefficients in some expressions. Each appears twice. If a change is wanted, they should be adjusted with the same value at both places. Let's play and see some changes on the model. Removing two windings, reducing the pitch, increasing the wide diameter, reducing the spring diameter, adding three windings. Somehow, these parameters are local. Using them, like I just shown, might be a good way to spare space and avoid confusion in the user parameters section. Thanks for watching. Boing, boing, boing.